I'm here with uh, Greg here from Telus Alliance, and tell us about Telus. Sure. Uh, Telus is a company that was founded in about 1985 uh, for radio broadcast uh, by two chief engineers. So what they uniquely did is brought their real day-to-day -day experience into manufacture of equipment for radio broadcasters. And now we're also into TV audio. Right. Certainly one flows into the next now. Uh, everybody on the video bandwagon is on IP, but certainly IP has been well entrenched in, in radio as well as audio for yes. a while. How did you guys fit in that story? Yes, exactly. Um, we actually uh, consider ourselves the innovator for audio over IP, and we came at it just as a very practical solution. Radio is a very practical market. You have to get the job done, you have to not necessarily spend a lot of money, and uh, making use of IT equipment to get the job done uh, was a fantastic technology leverage. And so in about 1999, uh, we began working on that and um, brought it to market in 2003 under the trade name of Livewire. Right, and how does that fit into AES 67? Sure. Well, uh, Livewire really took off. Um, thousands and thousands of on-air studios by the early 2000s. So we had, we had a market advantage, but we knew that if eventually there were too many competing vendors, uh, there would be a, a, you know, a, a loss of um, benefit. So we pitched in uh, our position and uh, started the committee with the AES, uh, which was originally called X192, and then which became AES 67. Now certainly AES, AES 67, it's you know compatible with uh, the new ST2110 uh, from Sony, yes. which is extremely important. Yes. And you must have a lot of people now on the video side saying, hey, what can you do for Ex me on the audio side? Exactly. And uh, we were pushing for that uh, for probably the past six years or so. Uh, we were giving presentations to uh, the digital television audio group saying, hey, you guys really ought to you know, consider this. And it was really key. This was, I, AES 67 was published uh, 2013, so about four years ago. But when Simpty embraced it for the audio part of TV audio production and broadcast, that was like really when AES 67 really arrived, because now it truly is the professional audio solution, audio over IP. Now, I always consider video a piece of cake compared to audio. Really? So, okay. Well, I mean, you're dealing with multi-channel. Sure. You're dealing with multi-language. It's <clears> not that easy. And, you know, initially, even when uh, AES Audio came out originally, everybody was into phasing nightmares and on and on. They all thought digital would yeah. fix it. Sure. Well, um, it is true that once you go digital audio, your quality is real good. But the thing to keep in mind, I think maybe this is relevant to uh, what you're asking, is um, people were afraid that with networked audio, would the job of the audio engineers go away? And the way that I always answer that is, you know, the network is there to get the audio from place to place. But it's only the audio engineer that knows it sounds good, that makes it sound good. So um, in that respect, you know, you need the art is still there, you know. I mean, if you put it in out of phase, it's still going to come out out of phase. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. It's not yeah. going to fix it. Right, and right. It's still finger issue. Well, thank you very much, Greg. And certainly uh, AES is a very important part of the new uh, Simpty ST21 standard, 2110 standard. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot more people talking to you about solidifying their AES solutions. Very good. Thank you.